Hello, and welcome to this spooky edition of ACTV News. I'm Laurel Vanhoff. And I'm Ben Moman. Today we'll be heading around campus talking about the ASO event, Halloween, and we'll get a little inside scoop about the musical that's taking place. So let's get started. So Ben, I hear they're doing the ASO World Away Tour today, and it's actually taking place this Sunday, November 2nd, and supposedly it's supposed to be a Ribbons of Excellence event, and the composer, Michael Dowtry, will be in attendance. Apparently they're doing A Trail of Tears, and Amy Porter will be the sole flutist. So be sure to attend. It's a free event for our students, and it takes place Sunday, November 2nd. Sounds like it'll be a good show. Yeah. Well, now we're going to head over to Ellen Stanton to talk about this week's musical. Thank you for that, Ellen. Now, as we mentioned earlier, Halloween is taking place, and yesterday Greek Life decided to participate in helping out in the community with their annual Trunk or Treat, trunk or treat event. Now... This is the second year of this event where we pass out candy to kids in the community. It's just another way of uh, us getting back to the community. But what are the other things that are going around on campus in terms of Halloween yesterday? Well, I know that Crazy Can held a Halloween event for obviously kids to come in through and trick or treat inside as well. I know they had a lot of candy floating around. We also did a zombie hunt that took place. And we had creepy zombies running around being chased by hunters. Did you do the zombie hunt? I unfortunately did not, even though I'm dressed for it. Yeah, you look like it. <laughs> but, so it was just a lot of things, all kinds of things. Obviously, Halloween's taking place, so everyone be safe out there but and have a good time. So that was some things. Yes. Well, now we're going to head over to Tim Har the Hurricane Harkle Road with the weather. Thanks, guys. Well, we have a typical Halloween weekend here at Adrian College. Today we have the high of 43 and a low of 30. The problem is we need to not be too revealing tonight. We need to warm up because there's going to be a 51% chance of snow, unfortunately. So make sure you stay warm. Tomorrow, Saturday, we have a real windy day here with a high of 39 and a low of 25. Perfect day to wear those Adrian College windbreakers out around campus. On Sunday, we have a bit of surprise here. We have a sunny day with a high of 46 and a low of 36. Now make sure you all have a safe and fun Halloween weekend. Tim, now we're gonna head over to Frank with sports where it's been a big weekend for the Bulldogs. Frank? Thanks guys, Frank Ruby here for ACTV News, dressed as a crappy hockey player. And I'm gonna get you caught up on what happened around the campus with Bulldog sports this week. And let's get into it, starting with Bulldog football where our men dropped a tough 17-7 loss to Wisconsin Lutheran this past Saturday. And it was a rough game for our Bulldogs who committed three turnovers and rushed the ball for only 129 yards a week after rushing for 400 yards against Alma. Men's record now sits at 5-2, but it's not all bad news. With three conference games remaining, Bulldog football controls their own destiny and can win out in their last three games and finish atop the MIAA. Make sure you come out this Saturday to Docking Stadium to support our football team on senior night. Kickoff at 1 p.m. versus Hope, and if you can't make it out to the stadium, you can watch the game on ACTV via BCSN. Let's go over to soccer, where our men's team dropped a tough 2-1 overtime decision this past week to Olivet. Freshman Nick Marsh had the lone goal for the Bulldogs. They will play their final game this Saturday when they travel to Alma at 2.30. And over to women's soccer, where they had a very nice senior night this past week with a 5-1, excuse me, 5-2 win over Alma. Aaron Whitey scored four goals for the Bulldogs. Kat Sutherland had the other goal for Adrian. They'll need some help if they want to get into the MIAA playoffs in a few weeks. They'll need to win their final game this weekend at St. Mary's, and then they will need Alma to lose their remaining two games for them to get into the MIAA playoffs. Over to hockey, where our D1 men's team continues their amazing start to the season, as they're now 14-0 thanks to sweeps against Mercyhurst last weekend and a win versus U of M Dearborn last night. Bobby Baudet had a hat-trick and goaltender Matt Schnoes made 34 saves for the Bulldogs who are still ranked third overall in the entire country. And just a reminder, our men's and women's varsity hockey teams will be dropping the puck at the Arrington this weekend, Friday, all day Saturday and Sunday afternoon. So make sure you come out and support our varsity hockey teams as they kick it off this weekend. And finally, our women's volleyball team, well, they dropped a pair of matches this past week to St. Mary's and St. Joseph. Their overall record now sits at 12 and 16 on the year. They have their senior night tonight for Linnea Behrman and Andrea Phillips as they take on Siena in the final game of the season. That's it for sports. Let's get back to you guys. 
Thanks, Frank. Well, that's going to wrap it up for us here at the Production House. Be sure to join us this week and every other week for more Bulldog action. From the Production House, I'm Ben Moman. And I'm Laurel Vanhoff. Have a happy Halloween.